You ever have a feeling inside you pushing your mind to make a choice? Is it a devil or an angel on your shoulder? Should you listen to the voices in your head? Well, not literally. I mean, if you have voices in your head, you should really go see a therapist and maybe, possibly, I don't know, I don't really prescribe medicine, but you could possibly need some. What I'm talking about is, is your gut screaming at you to make a choice? To take action. Well, I have a secret for you. That instinct is reliable. And this is why you should trust yourself and your strong instinct. Do you have what it takes to make the right left to you? Do you? If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel for videos to educate, entertain, and enlighten. Learn to believe in your instinct. Trust it. The more you trust it, the better developed it will become. Our minds and bodies are amazing. They are absolutely designed to help us get through life. Every aspect of who we are, from our mind to our body to our heart to our gut instinct, is designed to keep us alive. We feel hunger when we need to eat. Our bodies heal when we are cut. Think of the fight or flight aspect of our mind. It's there to protect us. So if we have fight or flight, our body learns how to heal. It tells us when we're hungry, and it's doing all these things to communicate with our body. Our natural gut instinct is working for our best interest. Believe in that voice wanting to guide you. It loves you. It cares for you. If you stop listening to it and question everything, you could potentially be doing more harm than good. Here's something you can try to help build your natural gut instinct. A fun mental challenge is the card choice. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a deck of cards. Boom, just like so. It could be red, it could be blue, it doesn't matter. As long as it's a traditional deck of cards, okay? Then what I like to do is I like to use the ace, bam, to uh, be my main card. This is the card I'm looking for. In the beginning, you might wanna try just three cards. So then find yourself two more cards. Make sure they are not face or aces. Discard the deck of the other cards and maintain the holding of the three. And you're going to take your three cards that you have chosen and you're going to put them face down on the table. Now, what you should do and what you could do is you start taking a breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Close your eyes. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Then you're going to open your eyes. Then you're going to look down and you're going to just grab. And you're going to pull up a card. Now, the first card you grab should be the choice. Now, it may or may not be the ace, but the object of it is you're trying to rely on your natural gut instinct. You see three cards and you go, this one has to be it. And then the other two are not. Now you keep track of it. Okay, so the first two times, let's say I didn't. I picked a two. And then you say to yourself, well, I did not get the first two, so that's zero out of two. I would suggest doing it about ten times. If at the end of 10 times you have more than 50% accuracy on your gut feeling to get that ace, then increase the cards. Use four cards. You never know. And eventually you might be using six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, even 11 of cards. Just make sure that none of the cards that you do use are aces or face cards. Just rely on this ace only. Because remember, you should trust yourself. You have the best natural instinct for you. Your body is going to tell you, just like Spider-Man, just don't go fighting the goblin. Because you have to hone your instinctual ability. You have to believe in it enough to say, I believe what I am feeling is right. You know, instead of making a left, I will make a correct. Because ever since you were a kid, something got you this far. And you're however old, more than 15 years old, and you're saying to yourself, well, I've learned how to do a couple of things, right? So, you know, I don't eat tide. Because the truth is, instinct is more than making a choice. It is our innate behavior, which is a direct response to certain stimuli. What I'm saying is just take moments to breathe and listen to what your body has to say. The way we respond to the world around us is just another way of communicating. Because each step you take is on a path leading to a much deeper life. So when in doubt, 
Trust yourself. Your instinct is reliable. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, a comment, and share this video along with subscribing for future content. Have questions? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you uh, decide to share this video, please at Thomas J. Beleza and I will see it. Therefore, I shall share some of your content too. As always, don't work too hard, but be productive. And when you can, look around. Because the people around you are your future. So work together, grow together, and remember most of all, rise together. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Or do you, punk? Or do you? Oh, dear.